Hello, Taurus. Welcome to this video. It is Prado G, and I'm here with a general collective reading for your sign. The first earth sign of the zodiac cycle. If your birthday is between April 21st and May 20th, you are the lovely, stable earth sign of Taurus, y'all. Today is the first day of spring, okay? This is also the equinox. Um, and yeah, we're now in Aries season, so shout out to um, anybody who has areas in their chart anywhere too, but this is your reading general and collective take what resonates and leave behind what does not. All right, let's jump into this reading, starting off with the significant number. <laughs> we ain't wasting no time today. Okay. All right. The number six. I love the number six. This is an even number. I do see balance here in your energy. Um, balance being restored. If you have been feeling a little bit out of balance lately, the number six is all about balance between not only the earth realm, but the spiritual realm as well here. Um, when I see this six, I think of like the the um, six of pentacles where it's like give and receive, ebb and flow, right? Um, also, this is a number of like enjoying your life too, because six is a number of improvement. So you could be experiencing major improvements right now in your life getting some sort of rewards. I do feel like this point of your life right here, right now is going to be very rewarding. The month of June can be very important or significant for you all as well. Taurus <clears throat> with the six showing up. Um, But yeah, this is the number of harmony, healing and support. So I do feel like you are definitely experiencing a lot of healing or you have healed from some sort of past challenges or changes here and you are supported heavily by the spirit realm. So be grateful, right? And continue to bring harmony into this world. Harmonize, right? With the spiritual realm and the physical realm here. You do need spirit to guide you throughout this life, right? We got peace showing up. Yes, this is a beautiful energy, y'all, to start off this reading with. Peace. I see you experiencing a lot of peace right now. Flying above all of the drama and the bullshit, like all the non-sensory, you're over it here. I see a very pure, free-flowing, elevated energy coming from you at this point in time. Taurus, you want peace, and this is what you are receiving. You've experienced a lot of peace. I feel like you're bringing a lot of peace from past experiences as well. Like, you've... I feel like you grew, you're grew. you growing your wings. See, this is the improvement that I'm seeing here. You're definitely elevating here with this peaceful energy. It's like now you have your wings and you're able to fly. You're able to fly. What else we got? Growth. Oh my gosh, yes. But I do see ideation showing up in reverse. So there are some sort of ideas that you are um, tapping into or that like you could even be blocking out some sort of ideas right now or just not aware of some sort of ideas that spirit is trying to bring through to you but the more you channel this energy of peace these ideas are going to flow through to you so there could be like some sort of ideas that you're trying to produce or come up with to um, improve your lifestyle but spirit is just saying yo right now be at peace with yourself like things are improving and the more you know that the more rewarding your experience in the right now will be even if you don't have the ideas um for your business or for um the ideas for like what it is that you actually want to create next in your life is okay right now is just a time for you to be at peace because you are experiencing major growth okay i do see with this growth somebody could be starting some sort of like holistic business here like you could be um starting a hemp shop or like growing your own foods i'm, I'm hearing farmer's market for somebody but yeah this is definitely a major energy of you you expanding at this time you're growing like this is definitely giving me personal growth too like people could be people could be coming up to you saying like they've noticed that you've grown a lot It's like you're grown now. Somebody's definitely grown now. Finally, the legal age here. Growth is definitely giving me... Um, I don't know. Like, even ch growing in terms of what it is that you are choosing to, like, involve yourself with, like, people, foods. But I do see... It's like a seed. It's like some sort of seeds that you planted are now growing, Taurus. You're experiencing major growth. And you should be very proud of yourself. This is the reward. It's like once you plant them seeds and you do the work, right? 
and you're at peace with the process, you grow so much more. You're not stunting your growth at this point in time. You're not allowing other people to stunt your growth. You're maintaining your peace. I also see, I feel this energy of like removing like obstacles out of your way here so that you can grow. Removing the negative um, resistance, like the weeds or whatever. Somebody could be growing their own weed. I don't know. I'm definitely getting that energy here, Taurus. But growth showing up. Let's see. Let's get, let's, let's get some more clarity on the spread for my Taurus. All right. First thing I flip, y'all, we got... The Page of Pentacles. Okay, yes. Look at this. Books. It's like you've been studying a lot. I see this energy of like really minding your own damn business. Like you're minding your own business and you're learning, you're studying. You're putting your energy where um it matters the most here. At this point in time, you are very scholarly. Look, you're doing what you need to be doing. You're working on what it is that you love doing and it's bringing you a lot of peace at this point in time, Taurus. Um, I do see that you are very dependable. With this page of pentacles energy, there's something new that you are embarking on, like a new endeavor. It's giving like somebody finally graduating out of high school, right? And now you're stepping out into the field or you're getting ready to step out into the field. It's like you're still in this preparation state, I feel, for somebody. Um, but this is happy news about your career. You could be receiving some sort of promotions or you could have received a promotion. Something about your career, though, about your work here on Earth. The Page of Pentacles is very much grounded. So right now you're giving a very grounded energy. It's like I'm I'm solid. I'm I'm stable where I am right here right now. I'm confident. But it's time to get to work though. But bring this peaceful grounded energy with you as you step into this new career path or um as you go back to school. An excellent opportunity has presented itself for you right now and you deserve it, Taurus. What else we got here for Taurus, we got seven of cups. Okay, the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck, we got the justice card. So yeah, I feel like you've given a lot of people a fair chance to be a part of your life here, but now you're choosing what serves you the best, what brings the most balance into your life here. With the seven of cups, you could have a lot of emotional options to choose from. I'm getting like family members, like where you wanna, um, you wanna make a choice that actually uh, rejuvenates you, that gives you more life, that fills you up. But Spirit is saying, stop procrastinating. You can have a lot of options as well, too. Somebody could be wanting to um, be a lawyer or something in the legal field. I'm seeing like you can have a lot of options on the line right now in terms of a job that is involving like the justice system. But yeah, here I'm just seeing a major energy of balance, De definitely very balanced, but you could be having to make a choice right now. You could be feeling a little bit overwhelmed by some sort of options, but Spirit is saying like, just be at peace with whatever decision you make here. Aligning your chakras too could be very important because with this seven showing up, I'm seeing like um, chakra energy. You know, we got seven main chakras in our bodies. So it's like aligning that energy in your chakras here and centering yourself, making sure that you are centered as you make a choice. Be mindful of your energy, the energy that you are bringing to the table when you make this choice. Like, are you at peace or are you feeling rushed to make it? Because I do feel like these being overwhelmed by options sometimes can knock you out of your place of peace. You can start to feel really anxious or feel guilty because of like a decision that you have to make here. But I do see that... Um, yeah, Spirit is saying, like, you know, don't procrastinate or overanalyze the situation. Just make a choice that best suits you emotionally. Like I said, it might be um, choosing to hang out with another family member or friend that actually fulfills you emotionally. But this is saying get clarity on what you desire and move forward. This is why you're in this peaceful state of mind right now, because you're getting clear on what it is that you want so that you can move forward. But there are a lot of options out here in this world. But you got to choose what um what you feel brings more harmony and healing to your life. Yes. It's time for you to have faith in your choices. 
have faith in your choices. Whatever you choose, just know that God is going to help you along the way. Spirit is going to help you along the way. You might need to do some assessments, but use your knowledge. Um, Use your knowledge, Taurus. Like, you're very freaking smart. As you can see, this person has all these motherfucking books. Like, they've studied a lot. They, they're they a scholar. Like, you have a lot of knowledge within here. And it's time for you to make a choice with all of that knowledge that you've acquired over this time in your life. But I feel like you're moving towards growth. You're moving towards growth. So whatever it is that you choose, like, is going to help you grow. What else we got showing up here? What energy, what energy is it that you're trying to tap into the most right here? Do you want spiritual connections? Do you want to be able to express yourself uh, with words? Um, Self-expression could be important. Like, are you, what energy, which energy do you feel like you're lacking in at this point in time? Is it your heart? Like, do you feel like your heart is blocked off? Do you feel like your spiritual connections could be a little bit stronger? Like your own sense of confidence? Like, what is it? Maybe intimacy or even creativity. Or all of the above. Like, what else we got here for Taurus? Seven of Cups. We got the Strength card. Wow. Wow. Wow, Taurus. You are so freaking strong. And people see your strength. They can feel you. They can feel the strength that you carry within you. Look at this Queen of Pentacles energy. There's a strong sense that you're going to be rich. Like, I'm getting this energy of you living a very luxurious life. Luxury, comfort, beauty, art. Somebody could be wanting to be an artist here, too. But you're very supportive here. You're so supportive that people want to support you in all of your endeavors. You create strong connections with people, and you're very strong and confident. People know that they can come to you and that you're able to handle the job. You're able to carry the weight. You're able to carry. Like, I feel like you're carrying a lot of people on your back. But you're like being crowned queen or king here. Look at that. That lion has a uh, crown on his head. But it's like you're also giving this very gentle and compassionate energy too. This is what's going to help you grow. It's care being strong, but compassionate and kind. It's like you can still be assertive, but be powerful at the same time. It's like you know your power. And you're not going to let anybody strip you of that. You're not going to let anybody get in the way, get in the way of your growth compassion that brings about forgiveness yes and anybody that does try to come through and try to strip you of your strength i feel like you're going to be able to forgive them because you realize that at the end of the day it's only going to make you um the more you don't forgive the more you are knocking yourself out of peace it's just like when you're mad at somebody like you're not in a peaceful state of mind you're not in a in a balanced equal um balanced state of equilibrium so it's like there's somebody I feel like you need to forgive. There could be a need to forgive here. Um, but it's about being more compassionate and understanding at this point in time that like, yeah, maybe somebody did do something to you or something happened to you, but you're able to forgive the situation so that you can actually move on and not be held back by your past. I feel like you have the courage and the strength to be able to forgive what needs to be forgiven. But um, also stand for what it is that you like will accept and won't accept at this point in time. Realizing that you are stronger than you knew. That's what Spirit is saying right now. You are stronger than you know. And you are growing so much more than you may um, be realizing at this point in time, Taurus. We got the Five of Cups showing up in reverse. So this is definitely a situation, like I said, where somebody did not handle your emotions well. Somebody could, it's like... Um, a mistake was made here. Somebody could have fumbled the ball with you. And it's like you were left to clean up the pieces. As you can see, look at these cups dropped here. It could have been involving close family members or friend groups that you fell out of touch with, Taurus, here. And it was like it had a major emotional pull on you. And you were so focused on that going wrong or like the loss of this. I feel like you were stuck in this place of negative thinking or loss here, but spirit is saying right now, um, or even if you weren't like, this is the energy that you could still be holding on to. And it's like spirit is saying, you have the strength to be able to clean up the pieces and move on to stop crying over spilt milk here. Stop focusing on the negative because the more you focus on the negative and what went wrong, you can't even see what's going on behind you. It's like these two opportunities are behind you right here for you to fill yourself back up. New emotional experiences wait await you but it's like you got to grow up and be able to like you know 
roll with the punches. That's the vibe that I'm seeing here with this this um five of cups energy. There could be something like I said that oh is involving a lover or someone that you love that you're really closely connected to here. Um, this is about you, like I said, forgiving the past, forgiving past mistakes, knowing that everything happens for a reason is going to help you clean up the pieces and heal sooner. But there's definitely something that you need to be looking um, at deeper about in this situation with this five of cups in reverse. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces here with this card showing up in reverse. But I do feel like this is where, this is where a lot of your growth is residing from. This is a lot of your growth, Taurus, is coming from this situation that happened with this person, this place or this thing that, like I said, you were crying over spilt milk, like a mistake was made or like somebody fumbled the ball. Somebody didn't take care of you emotionally or wasn't there for you emotionally or you gave somebody access to you that really um, didn't cherish you in the way that you really needed to be cherished, but I see you recovering. This is the energy of recovery. You're recovering, you're moving on, you're forgiving. You're doing what you need to do. You're you're moving forward. You're looking forward to greater days and look at what's coming as a result of this. It's like people see you as somebody that's really strong. So sometimes they think that they can put all of their weight on you, but actually sometimes you can't handle it all on your own and it's okay. It's like, look, you, you gotta be strong enough to let people know when and when you're not willing to take on certain personal issues that they might be trying to project onto you. Like you gotta be strong enough to create this boundary, but do it in a loving and compassionate way so that you can move forward and recover my beautiful Taurus, right? And look at what's coming here, a union, some sort of connection, some sort of love. I do see you loving yourself on a deeper level as well here. You're embracing true love. And then you're now able to let in real intimate friendships, people that actually want to help you and not just leech off of you, right? This is about you making choices from your heart. So I do see um, your heart is healing at this point in time. And this loving connection that you're about to come into um, in the future, Taurus, like this is really going to help you heal your heart. This is you recovering. You could have been dealing with some sort of illness as well, some sort of health issues. But with this, with this, as you heal your heart, you heal the remainder of your body. There could have been something that was going on, um, internally from the heart that was like blocking your well-being but it's like you're able to recover now you're making choices from the heart and making choices from the heart doesn't mean you just being mushy gushy a pushover and just allowing people to just do whatever to you because you're loving no making decisions from your heart is about you being confident enough to do what you feel is the most lovely thing to do that benefits you first right and also others too because sometimes look we think that putting ourselves on the line for others is actually helping them, but really it's teaching them to be, um, what is it, self-sacrificing. And honestly, we should not have to be martyrs and take on the weight of other people, especially if they don't want to take personal responsibility for their own life, right? We are all responsible for our own lives. We are all responsible for our own lives, so we can't hold people responsible for forever for what they did to us. We got to take responsibility and respond to the situation better so that we can move forward better instead of being stuck in this place of animosity or anger or mad that somebody did something to us. It only blocks us from love and people can pick up on that. And this is why so many people aren't able to make new friends or real, get into real connections with people that are loving because they have barriers up that are blocking the love from coming in Taurus and this is not what you want I feel like what you want is love you really desire love you desire this intimate connection with someone but I feel like you really want it with yourself here because at the bottom of the deck we got the hermit and the hermit is all about self-discovery and peaceful meditation and being in solitude so it's like yeah you got to sit with yourself and really connect with yourself and love yourself and heal your heart and and speak wellness over your own life before you try to jump back out into the the dating scene or expecting other people to love you when you haven't done it yourself yet. But I do see this is the phase that you're in right now. You could really be in hermit mode where um, you're separating from the rest of the world or um, outside forces so that you can, you know, regain balance within yourself. Improve your own connection, your own love connection within All right, Spirit, let's clarify some of this energy here with this page of Earth. Tell me about this page of Earth for Taurus. 
what's going on with this we got the transformation card so there's something there's a major transformation a major life change that's trying to push you forward here we got the will two major arcana cards popping up for you right now taurus this is all about a transformation you are transforming but you might be um not seeing it that way you might be delaying the inevitable because there's something that's changing about you it's time for you to apply what it is that you actually know because you've done a lot of studying you've taken in a lot of life experience like you've been experiencing life and it's time for you to now apply this knowledge which is going to make a major transformation in your life it's going to progress you forward with the will card showing up here it's showing me that you have a lot of willpower and you're um all about keeping the ball rolling but there could be something in your life, like I said, a tower moment, something that is coming that's supposed to end, something that's supposed to like, I don't know, I want to say like something is supposed to be broken down so that you can break through. This is definitely giving me a breakdown. Like This could also be a transformation that you um, were resisting for a while in the past, but it's like you're finally ready to let it go so that you can move on. You're ready for this transformation. It could have been very hard and challenging for you at first, though. That's the vibe that I'm picking up on with this. Um, Because that's the tower card. And, the, and no tower moments are really enjoyable. It's like there could have been some sort of truth that you were receiving, some sort of knowledge that you were receiving or information about your experience that you were receiving, but you were avoiding it. Like you didn't want to accept the truth of the matter. But um, it's like now it's time for you to embrace this transition. Like you're you're going to this transition is happening anyway, regardless. It's going to happen. This transformation is going to take place. So it's best for you to just get in alignment with it. Tell me about the seven of cups for my lovely Taurus. We got the eight of pentacles. So, yeah, this is um, this is about you paying attention to the details. Like there could be something that you were like. There could have been some sort of sloppy decision making here with this eight of pentacles here showing up in reverse. So it's like you are. Um, it's like learning from your experiences, like whatever choice that you made here, I feel like it could have kind of separated you from your work here. Or it could have knocked you off of your game a little bit. You could have made a choice with someone who like was not as um, committed to the cause as you were or vice versa here with this eight of pentacles is saying that there was there was some sort of mediocrity here i feel like you could have made a choice that um was a mediocre choice compared to what it is that you actually really wanted it could have been poor quality tied to this uh this choice um also here with this eight of pentacles this is about unprofessionalism this is about like really not um either either not being professional to the t where it's like you weren't crossing your t's and dotting your i's or somebody just was lacking interest it was like you just were not interested in something somebody this is all about this card though with this eight of pentacles is all about learning all you can about a specific subject or career so going back to school here is very prominent attention to detail and skill work that you love. So whatever choice I feel like you made, though, um, you're at peace with it now. But it, it could have been, like I said, a very hasty choice. Like you could have rushed it. You could have like um, made a decision without thinking it through completely or like really learning all that you could about this person, place or this thing. It's like sometimes when you settle for less, that's the vibe that I'm getting here. I'm feeling that settle settling for less. And that's not what you want to do anymore, Taurus. Like you've done that enough in the past. You've settled for less in the past a lot. You've settled for poor quality people and relationships long enough. And it's time for you to like, you know, elevate. It's time for you to really take it to new heights at this point in time. You have the strength to do so. What else we got here? We got the three of swords. Yeah, so this this heartbreak. This heartbreak is something that made you much stronger. It made you more compassionate towards yourself, first and foremost. And it made you realize that something about people, like hurt people hurt people, right? And it takes a strong individual to know that. Now, most people, like I said, are um, 
still healing themselves. So they're hurt and it's like, or they're not healing and therefore they're mad at people who have hurt them in the past instead of realizing that this happened for a reason. This happened to give your life more meaning, to help you find deeper discovery and understanding for um, what this life on earth is all about. You know what I'm saying? Like we all have to go through pain, losses and grief, great sadness, right? But I feel like you're at this place now where you're able to recover because you, you've you've decided to be more strong about the situation and realize that um, that you have the strength to overcome whatever. Like you're stronger than you know. You are stronger than you know. So somebody could have definitely, I'm feeling this energy of like, somebody could have cheated on you with this three of swords. Most of the time, the three of swords could be like a third party situation where somebody either like, um, cheated on you or replaced you with someone else because even if it's not like a romantic relationship it could be like your heart breaking because a friend somebody like um chose a different person over you like it's given the energy of like you know like how you have your own best friend like it's the two two of you are like this but then somebody else comes in and creates a wedge between you two that's the vibe that i'm getting here and i feel like this person this thing that caused you great sadness here um Right now, there's room for reconciliation because you're showing up more strong and compassionate. So maybe you and a friend or someone that broke your heart could be reconciling. I don't mean that y'all got to get back together and things are never going to be the same. However, I feel like y'all could be forgiving one another and compromising. And this could be very healing for the both of you at this point in time. But yeah, it's like you're letting go of the past. And you're healing Oh my gosh. Oh my God, Taurus. Yes, it's this pain that made you stronger. It's this pain that you've been through that has made you the strong ass person. That, and, and this is where all of your growth is coming from. People know now not to play with you. Look, Ten of Swords. You could have definitely been dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius too. Like you might have had a friend that was a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or you were dating someone who was a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And um, like I said, you're you're moving on now. You're moving on into bigger and better things. It's like you're st you're. This is the end of that cycle for you. You're ready to move on and see what the world has to explore for you. I see you getting out of the house. You're traveling. You're moving to a new location here, or like you're making a major transition mentally. This is definitely involving your mental because this this connection could have been on your mind heavy. And it's like, now you're ready for new love here with this two of cups. You could be coming into a connection with a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But this is an opportunity for new happiness here with this Ten of Swords. Once again, it was very painful. It's always painful to walk away from somebody or like old memories. It's just like when you move from a house. Like, yeah, it could be sad because you made a lot of memories in this home. You made a lot of memories with this person or this the situation here but this is where true growth comes from true growth two of cups wanted to fall out here um with the lover's card so i do see that there's a new connection coming about like you're about to meet a new love and you've grown so much now it's like you're going to be able to pick up on what real love is you're not relying on somebody else to hold you up it's like y'all are both standing i feel like y'all with this new love connection that you're building within yourself, you're going to be able to stand alone here. You're not going to need someone else to love you in order for you to um, feel strong. Yes, this is the end of an addiction for somebody as well, too. The opportunity for new happiness. This is just what's happening. It's like a lot of weight off of your shoulders now with this Ten of Swords. This Ten of Swords energy is definitely telling me that there is something, like I said, you were carrying the weight of so many other people or things. And now it's like this weight is being lifted off of your shoulders. You now have a greater sense of hope for the future. Um, you're releasing people and things that no longer serve you that have been um, taking up space in your mental. It's like they was living in your mind rent free. But now it's time for you to like you're releasing that. You're releasing that. You're moving on. You're focusing on the positive. And like I said, if these situations from the past, these people, this pain, this hurt from the past is not making you feel positive, I see you releasing it now. And you're gaining so much more energy. You're able to recover. You're able to endure more of life at this point in time because things aren't holding you down. 
mentally. This is why you're growing now because you remove these weeds. Like I said, these our thoughts can keep us down or build us up. And I feel like you're releasing these old thought patterns, these old things that you were thinking about so much now, and you're leaving it behind. <clears throat> All right, one more card from this deck for my lovely Taurus. Uh-oh, the Seven of Swords almost jumped out. Okay, what we got here? We got the King of Wands in reverse. So, yeah, um... And then we got the moon showing up in reverse too here. So this is definitely you um, needing to be more confident. Be more confident in your abilities to uh, handle your emotions without uh, allowing other people's criticism of you or your lifestyle choices to get the best of you. Because I do see with this king of wands, this is somebody who is... Um, Who's a natural born leader? This is what I feel like you 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 could be um there could be somebody in your near future too um that's a fire sign that might be um like I said a little bit like off like their energy is just not on for real. There's something about them either they lack confidence or they're really controlling or domineering. So you want to watch out for them, and I feel like this is energy that you want to um keep your eye out for especially with the moon showing up in reverse because the moon is all about like dark times or like being in the dark like le feeling like you're left in the dark where things aren't completely revealed to you like you're not able to see things 100 percent uh clear like it's not as illuminated as the day sky like it's just like when things are living behind the shadows right like you can't really see what's behind the shadows here so i feel like you definitely want to be listening to your intuition try not to get so um Try not to jump straight into this connection with this person. Like I said, if they're a fire sign, a Leo, Sag, or uh, an Aries, and they're a masculine energy, they could be a man, but they don't necessarily have to be. Just pick up on their vibes, right? Pick up on their energy. Like, do it feel right? Does it feel welcoming? Does it really feel warm? Do you, like, um, are they giving cocky? Like, because there's a difference between cocky and confidence, right? But I do see here there could be like some sort of anxiety behind this person, this energy. They could be like, um, like I said, a liar here. They could create some sort of confusion or fear. Like you might even be afraid of this person or this energy. So yeah, if that's the energy that you're feeling around this person, then you definitely don't want to bring that into your experience. I feel like you want to watch out for those energies at this point in time because you are in this growing phase in your life um so yeah make sure that it really feels like love make sure that it feels balanced make sure that this person is on their game that's the vibe that i'm getting here um i'm gonna pull one more affirmation card for y'all and then i'm gonna close out this read y'all let's see but yeah, this king of fire, I'm not I'm not getting the best energy from it. I feel like you could also be moving away from, like I said, you could be dealing with the fire sign right now and you could be like um, choosing to walk away from this person because you're ready to just love on yourself. Like, yeah. What else we got here for my Taurus is abundance. So yes, life is abundant. You are abundant. And look, at the bottom of the deck, we got letting go. So there's something that you have not been wanting to let go of, I feel here. Oops, excuse me, letting go. It's time for you to let go of this excess baggage. Anything that's weighing you down energetically or spiritually. But you are an abundant being and life is full of abundance. This card says, congratulations. It seems you're due for a little, <laughs> psych, a big, an infinitely big piece of abundance pie. Feel like you don't deserve it? Knock it off. It's already plated and ready to hit your table. Reluctant to take it? Shut your hole. Abundance pie is big enough to serve everyone. So get your whipped cream ready unless you're lactose intolerant and enjoy your well-deserved metaphorical dessert. So I feel like spirit is bringing you some sort of abundance here in some way, shape, or form. It's like I'm getting the energy of like growth, like you're growing abundantly. And this could be in terms of your finances or even just self-love here. Like you're feeling an abundance of self-love. You're able to move on confidently without, like I said, needing someone to hold your hand along the way. So yeah, Taurus, take this how it resonates. I hope y'all did resonate with this on some level. It's time for you to let something go. Definitely don't dwell on the bad things that have happened. Um, let go because 
you have um it says i let go because i have enough heavy things to carry carry around and also grudges aren't a great look right so if you're holding on to grudges like i said to somebody who might have burned you or hurt you in the past it only makes you less attractive to others that might want to come in and actually love you so or it blocks you from um healing in your heart so yeah let it go and this abundance is waiting to pour in for you you are making a major improvement in your life right now and you will be rewarded greatly for it taurus i really do appreciate y'all all for coming here today and your energy please give this video a thumbs up if you stayed until this point in time and comment below in the comment section anything that you want to share if i did confirm something or if there's just something you want to communicate to me i'm always here and i appreciate you so much peace love and prosperity.